it is so incredible that you are all out actors and it's yeah. certainly and all really successful popular actors was that hard for both of you to decide uh to come out early in your career when you're starring in white collar and you're a male heartthrob uh i you know i think it, it wasn't anything i'd ever really endeavored to hide I certainly was never closeted on a set or anything like that right. for the most part, maybe early, early, early on, but um, when I was still kind of figuring things out. But uh, no, I think it was something I was really, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm so, I'm so thankful that we live in a time where we were able to do that and still thrive in our careers. And I had too many ex-boyfriends to ever try to be in the closet. <laughs> like, there was no, there was no, I couldn't have lied at all. What about you, Charlie? I mean, I'm, I'm lucky these guys paved the way for me, so. To get Charlie, to you're him. making us sound old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Paved you, the way. If <laughs> you, Charlie. <laughs> if you look at what a rat Kevin Spacey was all those years, <laughs> pretending to be straight, and he was chasing all these guys around. I mean, like, yeah. so you, you realize the struggle that people, yeah. you know, yeah. went through. Um, uh, on that note, Andrew, Jeannie R. wants to know if you've ever hooked up backstage in a Broadway theater. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Didn't have to think about that one. No, I, no, yeah, I, I had sex in a dressing room in, uh, in Hairspray. In Hairspray? Yeah. When you were playing Link Larkin? Yeah, in intermission. Really? W intermission? <laughs> with a, with a castmate? With a castmate, yeah. It was sort of like, we just, we were like, could we do it? Could we, is there enough time? And we did it. Yes. <laughs> there, I, um, for those of you uh, not unfamiliar with Broadway, there is a 15 minute intermission, so. Yeah. Uh, Turns out you only need like five. Okay. <laughs> it's game time, everybody.